Hey everybody, hope you guys are all being safe. So I have a new unboxing today. This is the Realme GT Masters Explorer Edition. Yeah, the name is kind of long. So if you follow Realme smartphones, you will probably know about the Masters Edition. It's a variant version of the phones designed by Japanese industrial designer, Mr. Naoto Fukasawa. So Mr. Fukasawa is known for using unconventional materials in his art. So last year's Realme Master Edition had a phone with a back that was shaped and looked like a cement block. Another one that had a color scheme and textured like an onion. This year's version continues that trend and it comes in a back material that apparently is like a suitcase, like this right here. This is a pretty nicely built suitcase too. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the unboxing. Let's open up the suitcase and we have the phone right here and this box. Let's check out what's in this box first. Oh shit. So this is a collector's card. It actually says my name on it. Oh, it's a magnet that you can put on onto a fridge. Here's more magnets. It says Mastery, Beyond Speed, Real Me, Dare to Leap. And then you have these are postcards. Of photos apparently captured by Real Me phones. Hey, this one's in Hong Kong. And then you have some stickers. So this phone unfortunately is under embargo right now. So meaning I can only do an unboxing and show you the basic exterior of the phone. I cannot really put the phone to the test until a week later. But hey, there's enough to look at here in terms of packaging. This is quite interesting. I don't know what this is. This is like a, it's like a wallet made out of recycled material. Yeah. It's a clutch wallet, like a woman's wallet, except it's made out of recycled paper. And we also have a strap that probably goes with the suitcase. Okay, so let's check out the phone. But first, this box, you can tell this is the China model of the phone because all the text is in Chinese. So it says, Realme GT Masters Explorer Edition. And then this is basically Dare to Leap in Chinese. Okay, so we have just typical papers and instructions right here. Here is the phone. We'll put it to the side first. Let's check out what's inside. So we have a protective case, a jelly case, a 65 watt super dark charging brick, and a USB-C cable with a SIM ejector tool. So no earbuds. Here's the phone. So you can tell where the Japanese designer, Mr. Fukasawa, got the inspiration for this particular model. This is meant to look like a suitcase. It has the same ribbings that you get outside a suitcase. And here is a signature of the designer, Mr. Fukasawa. And here a triple camera system. So like I said, this phone actually differs from Realme GT, the standard one a little bit, in that the camera got a big upgrade. So up top, you have a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. And down here is a 50 megapixel Sony IMX766 main camera. So this is the exact same main sensor used in the Oppo Phoenix 3 Pro and the OnePlus 9 Pro. So this is Oppo and OnePlus's flagship camera in this phone. And down here is a 2 megapixel macro sensor. Flipping the phone around, you have a 32 megapixel selfie camera here and a 6.55 inch 120 hertz FHD plus OLED display. Let me power the phone on and set everything up and I'll be back. Okay, I have set up the phone. So because this is a China model of the phone, it did not come with Google out of the box, but I was able to install Google really easily. I just downloaded APK Pure and from there I installed Google Play Store. And after that, the Google Play Store works. Now this phone is powered by Snapdragon 870. So again, it differs from the Realme GT because that phone ran on a triple A. The A70 is basically a souped up version of the A65 Plus. So it's still, the default wallpaper is gray. It's meant to, you know, go with the back of the phone. But you guys know me, I like my wallpaper to be a little bit more colorful. I'm not a fan of dull gray color. So we'll switch to something a little bit livelier just to see the screen. Here we go, the screen looks much better now. Now, like I said, because this phone is still under embargo, I cannot show you photo samples and I cannot really test this phone yet. I can really just show you how it looks, how it feels in the hands and the overall packaging. So this phone feels nice in the hand. I like curved screen phones. You know, it fits in the hand pretty comfortably. It's really light. It weighs only 183 grams and it measures eight millimeter in thickness. 
So this is definitely a headphone that I can use with one hand, especially since Realme, just like Oppo's Color OS, has a pretty intuitive one hand mode. Here it is, one hand mode. So just tap and then the screen shrinks like this. And then from here, very easy to use. So even though the Realme GT Master Explore Edition comes in this unique packaging with this unique limited edition design, has a flagship level main camera and an almost flagship level screen, this phone is actually really affordable. In China, it's just selling for 2,799 RMB, which converts to about 425 US dollars. And I'm hearing that in Europe, the price will be kind of similar. So you should be able to pick this up in Europe for under 500 US dollars. For a phone with a Snapdragon 870, 120 hertz OLED display, a unique design designed by a Japanese famous designer, and a pretty good camera system. The main camera is definitely gonna be legit. I don't know about the ultra wide camera yet. And we know the two megapixel macro sensor, it's gonna be useless. But hey, this is a unique looking collector's item phone for those who are interested. So yeah, this is the Realme GT Master Explore Edition unboxing and quick first look. I'll have more on this device as soon as Realme lifts the embargo. When they lift the embargo, then I'll do a proper review. In the meantime, please stay tuned because I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming on the Galaxy Z Flip 3, Z Fold 3, and a bunch of other stuff. So um, stay tuned to this channel. Thanks for watching.